The intro sequence that you just saw, I haven't filmed any of it yet. It's raining outside, my friends are unavailable to help me, and my wife is at work. So there's no one that I could film. So I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for me to make another how to film yourself video. Also, I asked my friends at Focus Nordic Finland if I could borrow the Zion Crane 2S and make a review of it. And I just thought that why not incorporate the unboxing of the gimbal into the how to film yourself video because I might be able to come up with something creative and something new, so. But the challenge is that usually my workflow is the following. First I come up with the general idea of the whole video, then I find the right song that I want to use in that particular sequence or video, and then I plan out the whole shot list, and then I go to filming, but the problem is that to be honest, I have no idea what the package contains. I mean, I know what the gimbal looks like, but it's gonna be a big, 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 it's gonna be a bit challenging because I don't know in which order I'm gonna make each shot and what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna have to, you know, figure out everything as we go along. But I believe that this is gonna be a pretty cool sequence. So the idea is that in the first shot I'm going to come here and I'm going to slide the gimbal box to the table and after that I'm going to grab this knife, throw it like this and then open the seal of the box. Okay, so in this next shot I'm going to try to get this close-up shot with this camera of me throwing the knife like this, throwing the knife and catching it like this, and then I'm about to open the seal of the package. This next shot is going to be very challenging because I'm going to have to use my left hand to hold the camera and follow the movement and film it from a POV angle like Peter Lindgren. And with my right hand I'm going to slice the seal open with the knife. Then I'm going to have to use my leg to keep the box steady and prevent it from moving. So this is going to be, there's three things that I have to do at the same time. It's going to be very challenging, but I'll do my best. So this next shot is going to be a pretty simple shot. I'm just going to pull out the gimbal case out of the box and maybe crop in in post-production and then do some kind of a fake camera movement where the camera is moving upwards at the same time as the gimbal box is moving, but I don't know yet. Let's see how well it's gonna work out in post. Some of you guys might have noticed that Daniel Schiffer just dropped out a video called something like three best in-camera transitions for B-roll or something like that. And my idea was originally that I'm gonna use those transitions by doing these fake camera movements by cropping in and then using keyframes to do these fake camera movements. But now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that I might not be able to use all of those in-camera transitions, if any of them, because I'm using just this tripod and the tripod on the main camera so it's gonna be very 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 difficult to do those transitions so I don't know let's see
A huge thank you for Focus Nordic Finland for letting me borrow the Crane 2S. Also, I'm just wrapping up the edit for the video and I realized that I forgot to film some of the behind the scenes, so my apologies for that. Also, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to learn more, watch this video over here or this video over here because I'm pretty sure you're gonna like either one of them. Okay, thanks for watching and see you again next time. Take care.